Coach, we've been under this present playoff system since 2014, and obviously it's driven by committee. Uh, what are your general thoughts about how this has worked since 2014? I think they've done a very admirable job. I think it's a very flawed system. It's amazing when you went from two to four, all problems will be solved, right? No, it's not solved. It's, whenever there's a human element involved, um, it's an issue. So I'm sure there's analytics, there's eye tests, there's this. Uh, but I think overall, to answer your question, I think they've done an admirable job. You know, sometimes I challenge the criteria, especially when the Buckeyes didn't make it in in 17 and 18. But I always look who's on it. I think they're very stand-up people, good people, but uh, I think they've done admirable. This year is different. Started the season different. Everyone's playing a different number of games, and there's a worldwide pandemic. Do you think things should or will change with the committee trying to pick the teams because of the pandemic? Well, every year you had the interconference game. So if you could watch a Pac-12 team face it, you know, you saw an Oregon play in Auburn. You saw this year you're going to see Oregon play Ohio State, Alabama play USC. You can see, you know, the difference and you can compare scores. Those are gone. Some teams are playing nine, six, whatever it may be. So the term, and I, I really hate it, the two, two words, I test. I don't think it'll, I think it's going to be more important than ever. I made the comment on Fox Big Noon kickoff that you can't win anymore. You have to step square on the throat of the, and that's terms like sportsmanship come into, you know, I experienced that in 2014. So eye test is gonna be critical. So what you don't like about the eye test is how it impacts a one-sided game. Is that, no. is there anything else that you don't like about the eye test? Yeah, it's, what are you looking at? You know, I mean, when you say eye test, what is that? That's too subjective, you know, it's, I love objectivity, I love truth, I love the fact science backs this up and that's almost impossible to do when you're dealing with a committee and what are you looking at, that would be my question. Okay, let's say you were doing it. What would, what would you, I mean, could you, would you feel comfortable with all your experience deciding between four, five, and six? You I personally? Say, I wouldn't say comfortable, but I'd feel qualified. Qualified. I'd feel that, you know, that me going and ask you to go evaluate someone doing surgery, I imagine you would not feel very comfortable. You've never done that. What are you watching for? You know, if you're asking the coaches that, I don't know, thousands of hours of film, and yeah, I can evaluate. If you want to say, who's the better team? I could evaluate that. Uh, give me a couple hours and I'll go watch film and go close the door and I come out and say, this has a better line. And I would have experience and I could, I could give you that. So this year, it's your contention that the eye test is more important than in past years. Yeah, and it worries me because who's doing the eye test? Let's take, let, let, let's take a look at that when you say who's doing the eye test. It's obviously mostly athletic directors. Some may or may not have played the game. They've hired coaches, so mm -hmm. at some point they've evaluated people that would know the game. You have R.C. Slocum, Kent Hatfield, two coaches that predominantly his careers were in the southern part of the United States. So when you make the comparison, if you and I watch surgery, would we know what we were watching? That's true of most of this committee, is it not? Sure, I, and, and I know a bunch of those names, and, and I'll tell you, they're great people from the names I see. you got a couple of excellent football, Ronnie, lots as good of football players there ever was. I guess the question is, what are you doing? You know, I, to me, when I look at that list, that's going to be to analyze data, you know, where their offense ranks, where is this, but so much of it is who you play. When I look at that list of people, I'm saying that there's two people that have extensive experience watching film. There's a couple of former players, but when you start talking about watching film, I mean, it's like flying a plane, thousands of hours. What do you, it's, it's a little bit, remember the days when a, a young player would come into your office and say, I'm gonna go watch film. I'm like, what are you gonna watch? You know, go watch the uh, television copy then, because you don't know really what you're watching or you're studying. And so much to me about this eye test thing is who have you played? If every team you played is not very good and you have better stats than a team that played a duffer schedule, who on that list is going to be able to say that and say, okay, they have a better offensive line, they have a better quarterback? Data analysis, analytics, and the scoreboard. That's what I see from that list.